My name is Ryan Slay. I attend the Colleyville campus and I've been at Compass for about two years. My journey at Compass has really been um, kind of finding just a lot of healing and a lot of joy again in church. Um, I had really lost that going to church and church had become a thing that I did not look forward to and that was honestly really hard and really hurtful for me. And coming to Compass um, and seeing, a lot of it was just seeing how much fun Compass had, that it was a church that wasn't afraid of having fun, that that joy could be an act of worship as well. Early on when I started um, coming to Compass and I had decided this was gonna be my home, I was looking for a way to get more involved, to meet some people. And um, I am, I'm single and I don't have kids. And so a lot of the ways that, that you would normally get involved and meet people, you know, through your kids or your spouse or that kind of stuff weren't available to me. So I thought that serving might be a way that I could get plugged in and I could meet some people and kind of find that community that I was looking for. And I remembered that I really love live production. Um, storytelling is a big part of my life, um, whether it's on the stage or off the stage. It is what I am passionate about, and I've been doing it um, ever since. It wasn't that long after we I had kind of committed to Compass that Unstoppable had happened, and I remember it was like, oh great, I just got here and we're doing a giving campaign. Like, <laughs> like that's an interesting dynamic to have just been here when I, I, I'm not totally plugged in yet. I'm not all the way invested. I feel like this is where God's leading me, but I remember there was a moment of indecision of like, what am I supposed to do here? It wasn't a matter of that I was afraid to give to a church, but it was a matter of, I don't know if I can trust the church, um, almost with my heart again. Like, am I fully in here? Or am I going to be um, just kind of step back? Like, do I really trust this place with my time and my heart and my, um, are they going to hurt me again? I think what God has been teaching me over the past couple years, specifically at Compass, is to let my guard down, to be all in, um, to be all in with serving, to be all in with my time and my commitment, um, with my finances, trusting that if He has led me here, He is going to keep leading me. The work that Compass does in the community um, with the local organizations has really captured the meal marathon, the um, all of that kind of stuff has really become important to me because I see the direct results of the generosity of the church. Kind of alongside my journey at Compass, I started a new career in public education. And so a lot of my students rely on some of the services that, um, the types of services that Compass provide. My encouragement to someone who's kind of on the fence about going all in at Compass, uh, whether it's with involvement or serving or giving, is that God is trustworthy. And if He has led you to Compass, He is going to be trustworthy in that. Um, and that more than trusting a church or a person or a speaker on the stage, trusting that God is leading you in that direction will never fail you. No matter what I face or what I go through, his love, his protection, his um, his provision, it's not gonna let me down. He has put me back together and put my family back together over and over and over again. And remembering that history reminds me as I go forward that I do serve an unstoppable God and that he is trustworthy and I can put my faith in him and he hasn't stopped before and he's not gonna stop now.